In today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can get started dropshipping with the help of AI. Of course, I'd love to help you out. AI has been implemented into a lot of different aspects in the dropshipping business lately. And today I'm going to show you how you can take advantage of this and get your Shopify store started on a strong foot. Today, we're going to be building a complete Shopify store from start to finish. And I'm going to be going over everything step by step from the actual store creation to choosing some of the best products, choosing your niche and even creating your logo and an added bonus business model that you can fully benefit with AI. So if that's something that interests you, then make sure you check out this video all the way through. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. All right. First things first, the one thing that we need to start with is obviously going to be building a Shopify store. Now, I know that when it comes to building a Shopify store, a lot of people are like, eh. I understand a lot of people aren't good at designing. They're not good at putting together websites, at least one that looks good. So what we're going to do is we're going to be using AI to create our store for us. Now for this, the one thing that we're going to need as a prerequisite is going to be an account with AutoDS. So if you're not signed up just yet, or you've been thinking about signing up, or you just want to test the waters, then make sure you check out our trial period right now for the next two weeks for just $1. Now, once you have your account created and you're signed in, the first thing that you're going to have to do is run over up here. In my case, it shows my Amazon shop because that's what I'm signed into. But in your case, it could either say your current store if you already have an account or it'll tell you to add store. So let's go ahead and click on that. Then let's run over to add a store. And we're going to choose this option right here, Shopify store build with AI. Now we always want to choose the middle section, which is going to be using AI to generate our pre-built Shopify store. And then we need to choose our niche. Now, in this case, if you're not entirely sure what you want to go with, you can go with, I'm not sure. And you'll get a pretty generic store, but we're using AI. So let's run over to gemini.google.com. Now I like using Gemini. I've been using it more than ChatGPT lately, primarily because you get more updated results. So I'm just simply going to ask Gemini, which one of these niches would be best. So let's just simply go ahead and ask it what niche is best for dropshipping, fashion and apparel, pets, sports and fitness, home and garden, electronics and gadgets, or a generic store that doesn't focus on a niche. Let's see what it tells us. So out of the choices you listed, focusing on a niche for dropshipping is generally better than generic store. All right. So that's already going to rule out the I'm not sure option. Now it's giving us a few benefits to choosing a niche, which for one, it's going to be target audience, brand identity and less competition overall. Now, among the niches you mentioned, here are some that are generally considered good for dropshipping in 2024. So the first one that they have on there is pets, then home and garden, then sports and fitness. And then it's giving us a few options to consider when we actually decide on what niche we want to go with and where it's best to dropship on. Now with AutoDS, you can go ahead and dropship on Shopify or Wix. But obviously for this one, we're going to be going with Shopify because we can build our own store using AI with Shopify and AutoDS. So out of all of these, the one thing that you need to start thinking about right now is which one of these niches is the one that I'm most interested in, or better said that you're most interested in. So do you have more of a passion for fashion and apparel, electronics and gadgets, home and garden, pets, or sports and fitness? In my case, I love pets. And like I always say, people do not mind spending money on their pets. People treat pets as their kids. So let's go ahead and click on pets. Go ahead and do next. And that's it. AI is building our store for us. Now, a few seconds later, it's done. For this, what I'm going to do is open up an incognito window because it'll actually make it easier for me to sign on. Let's copy over our email that was provided to us and the password. And that's it. Now, the next thing that we need to do is select our plan, which we can go ahead and do that a little bit later. What you get here is you get one completely free day to do everything that you need on your store. My suggestion to you is take advantage of that day and right before it expires, go ahead and choose your plan. So that way you have a month and a day. So as you can see, add your first product that's already done. And the reason for this is because when AutoDS creates our store for us, it automatically populates it with winning products in that niche. So that's already one part of the game that we don't even have to worry about, at least not just yet. So while we're at it, let's go ahead and take a look at our online store. And here we have Pet Paradise. All right. So here we have a generic logo, which is simply just my store. That's perfectly fine because at the end of the day, we're not going to go with what everyone else is going with. We're going to go with something that's unique to us. We're going to create our own brand for this. And also we're going to be creating our own logo, all of which we're going to be using AI for. So we have my store. We have the different sections, the new arrivals, which has all of the different products that were preloaded for us. On top of that, we have a contact us section and a place where your customers can go track their order. Besides that, something that's very, very useful is this down here, this footer. Here we have an about us section, the frequently asked questions, the shipping policy, return policy, and all of the other pages that are pretty crucial to any dropshipping business, especially to build up trust with your customer. 
Now let's click into one of these really fast. Let's go with the striping policy. And what I'm about to tell you right now goes for all of the different pages. Go through each one of these and make sure that everything is accurate to your store. So make sure that the shipping policy here is accurate to what you're going to be doing. Here, it's already automatically pre-filled with all orders are processed within one to two business days. Some people might take a little bit longer. Your policy might be three to five business days, in which case you're gonna wanna come in here and make the change. Besides that, same thing goes with the shipping rates, the shipping methods, international shipping. I never offer international shipping. I probably should, but I don't. So in which case here, it's already set to, we do offer international shipping, but again, I don't. So it's a little fine details here and there that you're gonna have to go over to just make sure everything's accurate. All right, so the next thing we need to do is create our logo. Since one of the things that we're gonna be doing with our own niche store is trying to build up our own brand, we're gonna need to have a brand name and we're gonna have to have a relevant logo. Now. A lot of people aren't very good at doing this. A lot of people can't design. Personally, I am not good at designing from scratch. So we're gonna be using AI for this. Now, Gemini, let's go ahead and ask it another question. I'm choosing the pet niche. So I'm choosing the pet niche. What are five good brand names that sound modern, cute, and quirky? All right, so we have Possum Pals. I like that one. Wags and Whiskers, that one's also good. The Daily Woof, that one's really good because then you can actually make something like a newspaper as your logo. Crater Chronicle and Fuzzy Frenzy. So all of these are really good. And we're primarily gonna be focusing with cats and dogs because cats and dogs are the majority of people's pets pretty much around the entire world. But if you want, you can expand your product offerings and go into selling stuff for let's say exotic pets, like let's say turtles, birds, reptiles, things like that. But for this, I'm gonna go with the Daily Wolf. I like this one right here. All right, so let's go with option three. What are three logo ideas? So Modern Minimalist, Playful Canine and Comic Book Canine. Logo features a speech bubble with a woof instead of a bold comic book font. So I like this one right here, which is the comic book canine, but I kind of want to have it as a newspaper because when I think of the Daily Woof, for some reason I think of the Daily Bugle from Spider-Man. So I'm just going to go ahead and tweak this one a little bit and we're going to go ahead and create our logo that way. So how are we going to create our logo? Well, of course we're going to use Photoshop and it's going to take us some time, but this isn't that kind of video. So we're actually going to be using AI. So for this, we're going to be using Kittle. Now I absolutely love using Kittle to make pretty much anything in terms of design. So here we're going to go to tools, AI image generator and start creating with Kittle. All right. So first things first, we're going to go with either the image generator or the logo generator. I like the image generator better. It just works a little bit better. And then here under clip art styles, I always like to choose either the cartoon, the mascot or the kawaii. Right now, I actually think the kawaii option might be very good and I think it'll fit very well. So let's go with that. Let's copy this over. So logo feature. So let's remove that part, but speech bubble with a woof. Let's be a bit more specific with the text woof inside in a bold comic book font. Now here we're going to put Next to the speech bubble is a surprise looking dog with cartoony big eyes reading a newspaper with the text on it, the daily woof. All right, let's see what it comes up with. Now, we're probably gonna have to do a bit of adjustments on this. We're probably gonna have to tweak it a little bit, but let's see what it shows us. All right, so here we have, this actually came out really good. The only thing is that here it shows Wooly instead of the daily woof. So we can go ahead and leave it like that. That's not a big deal. And then we can simply add our text on here. So I'm just adding this text really quickly. Let's just do daily wolf. All right, so this is what I came up with and it's actually pretty simple. All I ended up doing was just adding the daily and I left wolf up here. So let's go ahead and download this. We can click on remove background, but that doesn't always work. So let's just download it and see how it comes out. Okay, so it didn't work. <laughs> so let's take that off then. Let's not do the remove background. That's better. So there we have our logo, the daily wolf. So let's run back over to our Shopify store, click on online store under themes click on customize. And then right here, you can see that it says edit your logo in theme settings. So let's go ahead and click on theme settings here. We can go ahead and select our image and upload it. All right. And there we have our daily wolf logo. Looks pretty good. It's a little bit small, so we can make it a little bit bigger. If anything, just increase it here and we can keep it at that. Now, one thing that you can do to make everything just a bit smoother is change the background of the logo. Instead of having it white, make it the same peach. What you can do to get the code for this is simply click on it over here, click on edit. And then this, so just take this code and then you can put that for the background over at Kittle. All right. So as you can see, we pretty much have our store done. We're ready to start using this and actually start selling on it. So the next thing we need to do is we need to find more winning products and we can use AI for this as well. So we can either ask Gemini a few suggestions as to what types of products they suggest. But the other option is run back over to your account over at autodias.com 
and then go to the handpick products section where on here you're going to have tons of different products in a variety of niches that are all handpicked by expert dropshippers with a history of either trending best sellers or are currently trending best sellers now the other option that we have is a trending product section this section is completely imported by ai so we have an ai system that scours the internet finds some of the best products with the most potential and just populates everything on this page. Here you're gonna have an insane amount of different products and again, a lot of different variations that you can use in order to add to your dropshipping store. Now, since we're using AI, let's go ahead and stick to this and let's run over to the pets section. All right, so now we can see that there's actually quite a few different items on here. They have a, what is this? They have a laundry ball, which is actually pretty interesting, to, I guess, to get pet, pet hair out of your clothes. They have a pet towel. This is, this is funny. And then they have all of these different vacuums. So vacuums are obviously something that's currently trending. Pet hair removal, cleaning up after your pet, again, for grooming your pet, a pet hair remover again. So obviously, pet hair is a huge problem and a lot of people are trying to figure out either how to remove it from their clothes how to groom their dogs a bit better or be able to clean up their entire house because i don't know if any of you have a dog or a cat or not but my dog at least during certain seasons of the year he starts to shed like crazy all that hair and fur just starts coming off so all of these products are going to be popular year round with a few exceptions where there's going to be a few extra spikes one of them being summer like when you think about huskies Huskies during the summer, especially in a place like South Florida, they shed all of their fur non-stop. So here you have a few different options. Let's go ahead and just check this one out right here because this one's $53. Then when you click into it, you have a bit more information like where is it most popular currently in Korea, apparently in the Republic of Korea, the Ukraine, Russia, how much are the sales? So it was doing really good up until let's say January when then it dipped a little bit. And in February, it's it, it looks like it did go down but personally i would expect something like this to go up more during the months of let's say summer now if you do want to validate that and see more or less when this product will be trending you can go to google trends and just simply look up pet vacuum change the time frame from the past day to the past five years and look at the spikes so here we have november is the biggest spike november again november again november okay so this product is extremely popular during november and as we can see for the past five years it has been trending during November. So we can start to import it into our store around October. So that way we can prepare for this huge spike. Now, I wouldn't even do October. I would probably around September is when I would suggest importing this product to your store. So that way you can be prepared when the masses actually come and they start looking for this product. So this seems like a pretty good product. Let's go ahead and click on import draft. Now let's choose our Shopify store, which is gonna be this one. So once we import that to our store, then we're gonna see it over here in our draft section. Now let's go ahead and click to edit. And this is where you can go ahead and update anything that you need in terms of the title, the description. If you wanna add it to any collections in your store, you can do that as well. You can choose the shipping methods and everything. Now, one thing I'm gonna show you here is gonna be the product title and the product description. So you can actually use AI to optimize both of these directly from this page. So all you have to do is simply click on optimize description with AI or from the products tab, optimize title with AI. Now I'm gonna click on this. And then here you can also choose whether the title description or both as well. Right now, let's just go ahead and do the title. So choose a tone. I want it to sound a bit more sellable with a balance temperature. I don't really care much for creative. Actually, you know what? Let's go with creative AI, right? And then what it's going to do is it's going to take everything that you already have in the title section and it's going to create a title based off of that. So pet perfect grooming kit vacuum away 99% of pet hair with seven essential tools. All right. So this works actually, no, because it does have seven attachments. So no, it works perfectly fine. Now we can go ahead and use this, or if you don't like it and you want to do it again, you can just simply click on regenerate. And then you have pet grooming kit with vacuum suction, seven tools for shedding dogs and cats. Perfect. All we have to do is click on save. We can do the same thing for a description again, if we'd like to, then you have the different tabs with your variants where this is actually really interesting here. You can make your pricing a breeze. You don't even have to give it two thoughts. So all you have to do is simply input your fees. How much does Shopify charge you? I think it's about 3%, either two or 3%. And what is it? 30 cents per transaction. How much do you want as your profit for this? Let's go with 65%, no profit dollar amount. So here we have a total profit of 38.99 with a selling price of 102 and 35 cents. Now, if you're good at math, then you probably caught this. If you're not, then you probably didn't. But if you look at the profit, the profit is actually not including the fee percentage, but the selling price is. And the reason for this is because AutoDS makes it very easy for you to take fees into consideration. They automatically deduct it from your profit. So you already know this is how much you're going to be making per sale. So once we have our pricing the way we need it to be, 
just click on save. And once we're ready to import this product to our store, just click on save and import. And then we can run back over to Shopify, view our online store, run over to the new arrival section. And the first product we have on here is gonna be our pet grooming kit. Here we have all of the images. As you can see, we didn't have to do absolutely anything. Everything was already uploaded for us. We have our description. We have our AI optimized title, our pricing, and pretty much everything else we need. Now, I promised you a second business model, and that is gonna be print on demand. So pretty much with any niche that you go with, you can offer different types of customized products. So take, for example, with our pet niche, we can also offer different types of shirts for the owners that have, let's say, funny pictures of animals or funny sayings, things along those lines. Now you can source these different images from quite a few different places, like let's say Etsy, but since we're using AI, we're gonna be using AI to create our designs as well. Now for this, we're gonna have a few different options. So before we get to designing, let's run back over to AutoDS and go to print on demand. And here we can find all these different products that we can completely customize. Where you see AutoDS, you can put your design on. So you can put your design up here, over here, run over to, let's say the home and living. And here you can get a bit more niche specific. So here you have a round rug or a square rug where you can actually upload your own design to this. Now, the cool thing about this is the fact that you can make one of these and offer it for the pets. So you could simply offer a square rug with, let's say some pet themed design and use it as let's say somewhere where a dog can just go and lay down. Same thing goes for this blanket. A lot of people buy blankets for their dogs. So you can customize an entire blanket for a dog. You can put any type of design you want on there or any sort of text that can make it funny. So let's run back over to Gemini and let's ask it what we can do for something like this. So what funny design can we put on a pet bed? I put pet bed, but I'm actually gonna be putting it on the rug. So punny designs, self deprecating pet, a bed designed as a giant tissue with a sad looking cartoony pet curled up in the middle. Is it Monday already? That's actually funny. Oversized dinner, a pet bed, a bed designed as a giant pizza for dogs or a giant fish bowl for cats. That's pretty interesting. A washed up superhero, escape the couch. This one's pretty interesting. So I got a few different designs over here, but I think the one I like the most is this avocado one. But obviously we can't do something like what they're talking about, but that did give me another idea. So here let's run over to pattern styles actually, and let's do cute. And for the prompt, let's put something like dogs. So let's just do dogs in avocado costumes. And then I asked Gemini for a funny pun for a dog in an avocado costume. And the first one is awesome. Avocado, avocado me. I absolutely love this. So we're gonna use this one too. So we have our dogs in avocado costumes with a cute pattern and now let's generate. All right, so this is what it came up with and it's pretty interesting. I like it. Let's go ahead and expand this all the way. Put this somewhere in, along the middle like that. And now we can go ahead and download it again, except this time for the DPI, we're going to have to put 300. And this is one big disclaimer that I'm going to have to give you. When it comes to downloading images to actually use for print on demand, regardless if you're using AutoDS or absolutely any other provider out there, you're going to need to have a minimum resolution of 300 DPI. The default 72 is not going to work. It is not good enough quality and any print on demand supplier is going to reject it. Now, unfortunately, you are going to have to have a premium account with Kittle or with any other image subscription service. If you don't, if you're using a free account, you're always going to be limited to 72 DPI, unless you're using Photoshop and you're doing it yourself. But for this, let's go ahead and switch this over a little bit. Let me make this a bit bigger. So maybe 25 inches. That works. All right. So download. And now let's run back over to AutoDS. Let's click to add the product over here or to edit the product. I'm sorry. And let's add our image. So this is what it looks like. We got to expand it just a little bit. So let's just make it a bit bigger over here. And now we can go ahead and preview. Now, once it's done rendering, you get your preview. And this is the mock-up for your preview. This is actually really good. This looks really good here. It doesn't look fake. It doesn't really look like it was added on there. It actually looks pretty natural. I, I dig it. Now you can do the same thing when it comes to t-shirts. So instead of doing, let's say this right here for a pattern style, you can go ahead and do what we did last time. You can do cartoon or mascot. Let's do cartoon. And then <laughs> you have this one. This is actually really good. I'm not gonna lie to you. This, this came out really good. Now we can go ahead and do the text that we had said earlier. So avo cuddle me, All right? Let's go ahead and just make it a little bit smaller. Put that down here. You can just go ahead and make the text green like that. And there you have your own avocado puppy t-shirt design. Now, the same way that we went ahead and uploaded it to our rug, we can simply go ahead and run to printed apparel and choose any one of these, whether it be the baby onesie, the t-shirts or the hoodies. And there we have an entirely different business model that goes along with our niche that can help us expand our product offerings to start making more sales and reach a broader audience. And the reason I say we can reach a broader audience is because on top of selling pet products to your pet owners, you're going to be selling products to the pet owners themselves that they themselves can use. 
And that's absolutely everything that you need to know on how to get started dropshipping using AI. Damn, that was dope. What did you think of this? Let me know down in the comments below. As you saw, everything is pretty streamlined, pretty easy. Everything is very easy to navigate. So again, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Remember, if you want access to the cheat sheet, all you have to do is go ahead and leave a comment with the hashtag AI dropshipping and your takeaway from this video. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. If you did make it this far, make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. My name is Mario with AutoDS and I'll catch you guys next time.